So it is Sunday today and I am busy, busy, busy. I just went through and graded all of the data packets. So I wanted to share with you guys, I am working on a an escape room. So this is by Teresa Quant. Uh, I think her name's, yeah, you can see in the bottom there, her name's down there. This one is a fourth grade math review. So there's lots of different questions. Um, there's word problems on here. So I think it'll be really fun for the kids to go through this, especially right before MCAs. I'm gonna do it the day before we have our MCAs. And this is the introduction sheet. And I have 28 kids, no, 27 kids in my class. And I decided to print four sets. They have math groups. So I'm just gonna do it within each of their math groups. So there are four sets and we are going to just have fun and do that. Um, obviously some groups are gonna go faster than others so I'll have a little activity after, but it's been a lot of work. You have to cut out a lot, a lot of stuff. Um, it's kind of hard for you guys to see here, but here in front of me <laughs> is all the stuff. So when you do this, you, um, you put them on envelopes, whoops, you put your things on envelopes and you have to cut all of them out and yeah, you have to, I just taped them on there, um, it suggests to glue them on there, but hold on, <laughs> uh, so Oh my. So it suggests to glue them on there, but I just taped them. So everything you do, obviously, with one set, you know, you see how many there are, you then have to do with all the sets. So I have a blue set, a pink set, a purple set and a yellow set. So I just wanted to show you guys kind of my process, oops, sorry, my process of just like getting everything in order. So I hope you guys enjoy. happy I finished all of the things that I wanted to do for this weekend I got the escape room put in here so here are the four sets for my four math groups I got all of the math packets graded and yeah that was my main thing I need to do a little bit of planning but overall I got it all done and I'm so happy eee! so um, putting together the four groups was a little bit of work, but um, I think it'll be totally worth it when they have a lot of fun going through the little scavenger hunt and solving all the questions. So I'm really excited for this week. I will try my best to film it for you guys so you can kind of see what it's like. Um, and I'll try to show you where I got it from. I got it on Teachers Pay Teachers. Um, I told you it's by Teresa Quant. She has a bunch of different escape room type of activities for all sorts sorts of different subjects. Or at least I know there's definitely math ones for all different grades. And that's where I found her. She even does webinars, so you guys can check her out. She's great. And um, I'm really excited to see how this goes. If it goes well, I'll definitely purchase some of the ones in the future. This one was $4.00. So not that much for not really having to do a whole lot of work and just having to cut them out and put them in order. So I'm really excited. I'll let you guys know what I think of it and I will catch you guys this week um, since it's only Sunday. And yeah, so I'll catch you guys later this week. Bye. 
So I'm finishing getting ready. I have to leave. It's 8.45. I have to be there by 9.30, but I figured it would be better to um, give plenty of time. So I'm going to try. It takes about 15 minutes to get to the school. So I figure if I leave about 45 minutes early, that gives me an additional 30. So that's 15 on a good day that it takes to get there, by the way. So with snowy conditions, it'll probably take 30. And then oops, if it takes any longer than that, um, it'll give me the chance to have that extra time. Otherwise, that just gets me there early anyways. And I'm going to miss my prep today. So that will just give me the opportunity to um, have a little extra time to prepare myself for the day and just kind of get the plan in mind of kind of what I would like to do. <clears throat> so I left my lunch at school, so I'm just packing a couple little items that I want to put in there. I'm going to quick grab, I like to have these little apple sauces and fruit snack with me um, especially as just something when I get hungry usually I eat this and a yogurt at prep time just because I do get kind of hungry and even though I won't have prep time today I might just have a bigger lunch or something so I will catch you guys at school bye happy Tuesday everybody I am currently getting ready to put my clues in place for the math escape room. I'm really excited. I did all of my different groups and these are gonna be what they get first and some of the information is inside. And then I'm gonna go hide the other clues. So some of them are going different places. So these ones with the squares are gonna be placed, it says under a student desk. So they get to pick their own spots in here. So I'm just going to put some in some of the desks and then they're gonna go find them um, these ones are gonna be a little bit harder since it's fourth grade to put in a picture book but I'm gonna try to find some good picture books and so on and so forth I'm super excited I'll try to take some video while I'm doing it with you with the kids um, I can't wait I'm so excited I hope it goes well wish me luck guys <laughs> Well, it, it just Happy Wednesday, everybody. Um, I just got done meeting with the principal, and um, while it's a little bit nerve-wracking, <laughs> um, I know that she is looking out for my best interest and trying to help me the best way that she can in the classroom, so that's really nice. Anyways, so... Yeah, um, it's just a little bit, like, nerve-wracking, but I know, again, she's looking out for my best interest and wanting to provide me materials to have success in the classroom, so she did. She offered me some ideas, and the main thing is just kind of, like, taking a step back and doing some of those first day of school type of things. So going over expectations and talking about what the rules are and everything like that is going to be very, very helpful. Um, so I just need to take a step back. I think I just kind of was like jumped in and didn't really get that chance to do that. So I need to just create that chance and really just talk about what, what the expectations are and what I expect of them and what they should be doing in the classroom. So, hi. hi. Happy Thursday, everybody. There is a presenter coming in tomorrow because we have a non-student contact day. So they are talking about trauma in the classroom and kind of how to um, help those students. So I wanted to make a video just about that and kind of just sharing about the week so yeah this week um, went pretty well to be honest um, much better than last week still have like the one or two little things that I'm trying to work through um, 
the principal has met with a couple of my students and has heard from one of the staff members or some other ones, I'm not sure exactly who, but just talking about um, how they feel like students are being respectful in my class. And it kind of freaks me out a little bit because I don't want the principal or other people in the school to think that I don't have a grasp on classroom management. Obviously I'm still working on it, but I like I want them to know that I'm working on it and that I'm not like my class is just out of control because that's not the case. Um, I, I feel like my class is very well under control and our biggest thing is that we just have some kids who talk, which if you sub in any classroom, you're going to have those kids that talk. You're going to have those one or two kids that are disrespectful. And so I feel like that's nothing new in this class. Also, I think the person who may be reporting this the most is someone who got to see the other teacher teach and then is getting to see me teach and those aren't aligning up. But she's had a whole, you know, most of the year to build those relationships and have those kids build a, a lot of respect for her. And I just haven't gotten that time. So I met with the principal today and basically she was just telling me like, take a step back. Um, Cause I kind of just jumped right in and we had MCAs and stuff. So I really didn't get a chance to just like sit down and be like, okay, who are you? Who am I? What are my expectations? So she said, I think you need to take a step back, set your expectations and then kind of go on from there. And that's definitely what I did um, today actually. Let's just kind of talk about that and talk about how things are gonna be moving forward. So this is the classroom expectation sheet I made. The four things that the school as a whole focuses on is respectful, responsible, safe, and kind. And so I just had, these are all responses from the students and I wouldn't say that we're done talking about it, but I feel like the kids know what the expectations are. And so this is kind of what we talked about. I try to fit in the looks like, sounds like, feels like, and things like that. And then I wanted to talk about, and I'm gonna revisit on Monday, since they don't have school tomorrow, your expectations of me as the teacher, and then my expectations of the students. And so we're gonna go through that and just kind of talk about what are the classroom expectations as a whole when I am here. So that's the main thing I wanted to share. I'm just really working on those classroom expectations because as a long-term substitute, you kind of just have to jump in and you don't really get you know, those six weeks to establish and build relationships before you really dive into content. I mean, most long-term substitutes are only here or only in their position for six weeks. So it can be very tough to, to do the things that you need, or at least to have like that solid classroom management when you haven't gotten time to build those relationships. So I'm gonna really focus on that over the next few weeks. Tomorrow I get to experience the trauma-informed um, teaching and just kind of bring some really great things back for you guys that maybe you can apply in your own teaching as well or in your future teaching. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I will catch you next week. Bye guys.